Not long after Australia had passed England's first innings total of 184, the new ball was taken and Terry Jenner ducked into a bouncer from Jon Snow. Jenner the batsman and into that bouncer and the ball goes away to extra cover. It went a long, long way. Jenner is on the ground and Illingworth is with him and the batsman looks to be in a bad way. Now that wasn't Jon Snow's fault. The ball was short, it was a legitimate bouncer and Jenner now helped off the field by three of the England players, Bob Willis carrying his bat. And Snow already has been warned by umpire Rowan for intimidation under law 46. Now look at Illingworth, the England captain. In this case, I'm a backer of Illingworth's, but he was behaving not like an England captain, but more like the prima donna of a South American football side arguing with the referee. And look at the snatch from John Snow as he grabs his sun hat from umpire Rowan and now asks the crowd to keep in time with their chanting. Then Snow comes down to say hello to some of the fans at the Paddington end. Now look at this. One of the drunken ones grabs him, tries to assault him now, pulls him into the fence, and Snow tries to pull away. The spectator is pulled away by his friends, and Snow goes away, followed by beer cans that are being thrown at him. Whilst I was critical of Illingworth's actions with umpire Rowan, I was all in favour of him taking his side off the field and letting things cool down. For a England few went on to win the Elmire test by 62 runs and Ray Illingworth became the first English captain since Douglas Jardine in 32-3 to win back the Ashes in Australia.